Howdly doodly, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Shoop Show. And today we're going to be talking about something that I'm sure interests almost none of you. My ideal type. Alright, so I thought what would be a fun thing to do would be if I built the ideal man in physical form of just different body parts from different celebrities that I found very attractive. And I just want to put in a disclaimer, these are just things that I like, and I know it's different from what other people like. And I think it's very important that we all accept each other's different preferences, and that none of this is meant to shame any type of human, because we're all humans. So if I had to pick my ideal head shape and neck shape, I would have to go with Jong Hyun. I have a thing for really nice cheeks, and I just think he has beautiful cheeks. And he has a very nicely shaped neck. Jong Hyun has the ideal girth and length of neck that I prefer. We have the eyes of Juan Pablo de Pachi. I probably mispronounced that because I am very Caucasian. And I think Ravi from Vix has a very nice nose. It's small and delicate, but it means business. I like a good nose that can express authority. And of course, for the mouth, we have Aaron Yan's lips. So for the torso, we have Aldous Hodge. To me, he's not too chiseled, but he's still got a little bit of muscle definition. And then he's got like a smaller waist, which is small enough for me to wrap my tiny little arms around and give him a hug. For the arms, we have Ben Stiller's arms, specifically from Tropic Thunder. We're just gonna tweak it a little bit, and there we go. Now it's good. For the legs, it's no surprise here, we got Wanho from Monsta X. I like a good thigh that can really crush the trachea. One of my life mottos is Wanho's thighs are how I want to dies. And last but not least, we've got the booty. And the booty belongs to none other than our Tom Holland. It's no surprise that he's a gymnast, so everything's all crisp and tight down there. I like my booties the way I like my apples. Crisp. And there you have it, my ideal man. Isn't he beautiful? Now, of course, body is not all that matters. Personality is very important. So here are some personality traits that I look for in a potential mate. At the very bottom, we've got um, treats women like humans. That sounds like low standards, but it's very hard to come by these days. This may be groundbreaking news. Women actually enjoy when you treat them like humans. I'd like them to be slightly less funny than I am, just because I'm very competitive and I personally think I'm very funny, even though I'm the only one who laughs at my jokes. So if I can laugh at their jokes slightly less often than I laugh at my own, then that would make them ideal for me. However, I would like them to be significantly more intelligent than I am. They have to love animals. I will not settle for anything less. If there was a potential mate, and he was looking at a dog and a car, both hanging off of a cliff, and he had to choose to save one. If they chose to save the car and not the dog, I would throw that person off the cliff and save the dog myself. And after I saved that dog, I would adopt 10 more dogs, and then another five. He must love animals to the extent that he would be willing to let spiders outside as opposed to killing them in a fit of toxic masculine rage. Take that little spider who's unknowingly in my home and let him outside so he can build his little web and catch all the little bitch-ass lantern flies that keep harassing my neighborhood. I want them to be weird like me and do weird stuff with me so I'm not weirding in solidarity must have exceptional communication skills. The fact that I could talk to another human and we can discuss our disagreements and come to a mature, like, resolution without having to shout at each other or be passive aggressive or do any of the sort is, I don't know why we don't all strive for it. I like to go on hikes so couch potatoes just won't cut it for me. You could say that if he doesn't enjoy hiking, he could take a hike. Ideally, he won't just tolerate and appreciate my puns, but he will engage in the pun creation. I just couldn't understand being with someone who didn't enjoy puns. Someone who doesn't enjoy puns, I find that to be very pun-attractive. 
if someone didn't enjoy my puns, I would feel very pun appreciated. I just think someone who's good at making puns has great potential for being my mate. All right, and there you have it. Um, some information that I'm sure none of you cared about. Once again, if you sort of kind of liked what you saw today, please feel free to subscribe or like or follow our Instagram account. See you next time on Shoop Show.